Hello YouTube, bald man building an airplane here. Uh, this video is a bit out of sequence, but uh, it's the topic, topic of the moment. So you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing with this big piece because the last video you saw was putting skins on wings. Uh, so this is chapter 26. This is in the fuselage kit. And this is to do with the saga of the laser cut parts. Um, Austin Menke produced a great video about his feelings on it. I am right there with him on it. Um, I got through riveting most of these seat ribs. So this is the rear part of the main spar area where the wing spars attach out here and out there. This is up, that's forward, that's to the back. Um, I got finished rib riveting these seat ribs. Thank you to my wife for uh, helping me do that. Well, most of them. We didn't do all of them because we got through a lot of it and I stopped because I saw cracks starting to appear along these rivet lines. Just on the, uh, on the edge of each rivet. Um, then I went back and I looked more closely. And when I looked more closely, there were cracks everywhere. Almost every piece of metal that I already assembled has cracks along the dimples. What am I supposed to do? I look online, I look at, you know, what Greg, Greg Hughes has to post and VAF. Great, they'll take care of their customers. I call customer support and they're like, I don't know what to tell you. You stand by your products, don't you? Stand by your products. Make this right. I, I'm looking closely at all of this. I spent a ton of time with this little round file right here. This guy right here. Each of these holes, cleaning them up. Many of them, you can kind of maybe even see, they have, they still cracked when dimpled, right? I also spent time priming them, prepping them, getting everything ready. Now what? It's garbage. Most of them have hole, have cracks. Some of them don't, you know, but what do you do? Now, although we get closer and I look at this gear brace, right? This, this angle here, these number 30 rivets that pull, pull it to the skin, 40% of the number 30 rivets that attach that thing to the skin that are dimpled have cracks in the dimples now that they were riveted. They didn't have cracks. When I dimpled them, they got cracks upon riveting. So if I'm to replace that part, I have to completely tear this whole thing apart. How is that okay? It's not. It really isn't okay. But you know what? I'm willing to do it. If Vans is willing to stand by their product like they say they do, like they say they should. I've got these, these, these pieces here. Those bring the structure from the bottom up on the side skin, right? Cracks bigger than halfway down the dimples after filing them. How is that okay? Okay, well that's great. Now that's, this piece was match drilled to this doubler. It was match reamed to this rear wing spar uh, attach point with these bolts through, you know? Very, very carefully reamed this piece together and now what? I, I, what do you do? You just match drill another piece? No, that's not how this works. When you match drill two pieces, they become an assembly. You don't just separate them and put a new freaking part in there. So, new parts all around? I don't know. I, I don't want to rant about this. But I, I just don't know what to think here. I've got an assembly belt. I've got a bunch of parts down in the basement ready to be worked on. I don't even know, I don't even know if I want to start working on any of that stuff. Now, Vans, you're a great kit manufacturing company. 
You've done well for 51 years now. This is your 51st year, right? Or your 50th year, whatever. This sucks for you. And I know it sucks for you because you're looking at this like we sent out hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of these pieces that a manufacturer that we contracted with said was going to do a good job and they didn't and it's on them yeah but you know what it's on you too because you contracted with them i hope you've got insurance because there's going to be so many people wanting to return these parts and i don't think that you're going to have the finances to cover it all it's going to be a mess but i hope you can withstand it because you guys are great people right stand by your product and talk to the public about it put out a service bulletin put out actual guidance you know the quiet updating of section 5 to say yeah on these laser cut holes occasionally it'll it'll do this you know for for those of us who who pay attention to the online communities that's wonderful but you know what there's a lot of us that don't Right? There's these builders that get their kits and they look at their plans and they don't pay attention to anything that comes out that doesn't immediately like say, hey, you builder, you need to do you need to act on this, like a service bulletin. You know? That that quiet update of section five is, is good material, but you need to be more public about that and say, hey, this could be an issue with your build. Please address it. Because the last thing you want is for this to like come down hard on you um anyway um i'm gonna file more of these holes push them to the very edge of tolerances maybe i'm gonna i guess i'm also gonna disassemble that because uh i can't have a gear brace that has 40 percent of its attach points well, not 40%, but 40% of the big rivet attach points, which are the st <laughs> stronger, supposed to be stronger structural points with defects. So I'm gonna have to disassemble that entire thing behind me and get something replaced. But get your support guys together too. Get a consistent public message ready. Get the parts department on board, get the support department on board and let us know not only what your testing has found, because you're testing, great. Independent third-party testing, wonderful. But let us know what we need to do. Don't just leave us in the dark, right? Thanks for your time. I'm, I'm just gonna get to drilling out rivets, I guess. See you later.